we're gonna check out something a bit different. Instead of a mod or a plugin, in this video, I want to check out a set of tools. You might have seen the videos I made on this channel about custom rank textures. I've shown a method with better ranks, which is an items header add-on, but I also made two videos about a free alternative called nautical ranks. Now, what is nautical ranks? It is not a plugin or an add-on. Instead, it is simply a resource pack, both for Java and Bedrock Edition, which allows you to easily add custom rank textures. It's really cool, actually. I've also made a video about how to create those custom rank textures yourself, so you can customize what they look like for your server. And today, we're gonna check out nautical tools, which is a set of tools made by the same developers, which allows you to easily generate and download a rank texture, turn that into a resource pack automatically, but it also, for example, has a Minecraft menu maker, which is a tool that allows you to simply generate a menu for a custom menu plugin like Deluxe Menus. It's pretty cool stuff, so let's have a look. So here we got the website, Nautical Tools. I will leave a link to this in the description down below. And like you can see, we got eight different tools available currently. A rank generator, a texture pack generator, an RGB generator, Minecraft Menu Maker, Item Generator, Votify Tester, a Circle Generator, and an Item Resource Pack Generator. Now, I think the one that most people are going to be really excited about is the Rank Generator. So, when we click on here, you can simply generate a rank texture. You know these textures that you sometimes see on Minecraft servers? Well, you can add them with nautical ranks, or better ranks, or Nexo. Doesn't matter what you're using. These rank textures are, of course, textures. AKA, they are just images. You can make them yourself in Photoshop, or you can use this website. So what we can do is, for example, make a subscribe rank. I think we definitely should, <laughs> because I would appreciate it a lot if you did. So I'm going to make it say subscribe. After that, we can choose a font. So there's a default font, but there's also a rounded font. Look carefully. There we go. It's a bit different. Then we got the small font, which looks like this. Then we got big ranks, which looks like this. And then last but not least, the border ranks, which looks like this. So these are all different options you got at your disposal. Personally, I kind of like the rounded one. So I'm going to stick with this one for now. And after that, you can do two things. You can either upload a background image. Yes, even that is possible. Or you can simply choose a border color and then two colors for the background. It's so easy and cool. So for the border color, let's just choose a nice color. There we go. That looks kind of nice. Beautiful. Okay, border is chosen. And now we need to choose the first background color, which will basically be the first color of your gradient. Now, if you for some reason don't want a gradient, but just a single color, you can simply repeat the same hex code twice. And there we go. Now you just have a fixed color. Now, if you click on enable shadow, then the text will get a shadow. There we go. When you enable gradient border, then all of a sudden you can now select a second color for the border. So I can choose a different color like this. There we go. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> it doesn't. Wait, subscribe. It's YouTube. We should make it red. There we go. <laughs> and after you feel like your rank is done, we can simply click on download and it will download the PNG file, which you can now use for anything. Of course, nautical ranks, but Nexo and items add are too. Whichever custom rank solution you use, you can now use this rank, which is great. Now, after creating a rank, something you can, for example, do is go to the texture pack generator. And over here, we can upload our rank and let this website automatically turn it into a texture pack. So let's do exactly that. There we go. I uploaded the subscribe rank. I'm going to change some information here. So it's going to be the subscribe pack. A pack by Kasai Sora. There we go. The author is just me. <laughs> and the rest we can just keep default. I'm going to click on generate pack. And there we go. Here it is. So when we open the pack up, you can see that it includes a pack.mc meta file. It has a pack.png file. And when we go to assets and then Minecraft textures and then ranks, then here we got the nautical subscribe rank PNG file. Look at that. <laughs> that is so awesome. Now you might wonder how can I use this rank in my game now? If you go to the root of your texture pack and then open unicode.mapping, you can see what the texture has been mapped to. So this is the Unicode character it has been mapped to, which means if I add this resource pack to my Minecraft and I then paste in that Unicode, look at that. <laughs> there it is, our rank. Easy peasy. Simply turn this resource pack into a server resource pack and then use that Unicode from the TXT file in, for example, Lookperms. And bam, your custom rank texture will show up. <laughs> it's that easy. 
And if you're already thinking to yourself, wow, that's kinda cool. Quick reminder, we've only checked out two tools. <laughs> there are six more available. Now I won't go over all of these in as much detail as these first two, but the RGB generator, for example, allows you to generate RGB text. You can choose a format yourself, so you can use mini message. But if you're not using PaperMC, then you can use any of these and it will probably work. The one with these N symbols, for example, is supported by most Minecraft plugins, even if you're still running a Spigot server. And if I'm correct, this one works perfectly fine for an MOTD of a vanilla Minecraft server. So like the MOTD you set in the server.properties file. And the fact that you can also choose between different formatting types, like bold, italic and underlined, and even add multiple colors in your gradient if that is something that you want. That is just really, really cool. Subscribe to Kasai Sora. <laughs> The Minecraft Menu Maker is also a pretty cool concept because, well, it allows you to generate a menu. So currently there are two options available, either Deluxe Menus or Script. I would imagine more options will be added in the future as well. And then over here, you can completely customize that menu. So you can give it a name, you can give it a title, so the text that will appear at the top of your menu. Then you can choose a size, so you can make it have just a single row, or let it be the size of a double chest. Then you can choose what you want the commands to be to open the menu. You even have the option to choose a permission under advanced settings. And the update interval in ticks you can change too. And then you can simply edit any of these slots. So if you want a diamond in slot 22, we can click on slot 22. Then we can choose a material, an amount, the name that button should have, and then the commands it should execute when we either left or right click on this slot. Then it's a matter of clicking on generate code. The code will appear here on the right and this you can simply copy and then add it as a new menu to deluxe menus. For script, it works basically the same. I don't have a lot of experience with this plugin myself, but I know it is extremely powerful and it also allows you to make a fill menu in the same way. Again, I hope they will add support for more menu plugins in the future, but this is a really cool start. Now there's also an item generator, which allows you to create custom Minecraft items. So you can have an item, like for example, a diamond sword. If you want, you can make it have custom model data, so a different texture, but you can also change its name, its lore, and for example, make it unbreakable, if that's something that you want. The Votify tester is also here. I've never used Votifier much, but obviously I know what it is. And this basically just allows you to test it and make sure your configuration is correct. Then we have a circle generator, which allows you to generate a circle in Minecraft, because why not? I could honestly see this being pretty handy. <laughs> and then item resource pack generator, which allows you to create a resource pack with custom item textures. Also pretty cool stuff. And these are just the tools available now. Like it says here, more is coming soon. And I very much believe them. The people behind Nautical Tools are in my Discord. And you should make sure you're in there too, by the way. Don't forget to join. It will be awesome to see you there. But they post a lot of updates about all of these tools and the development. And it's awesome to see. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. Once again, links to Nautical Tools can be found in the description down below. And that is gonna be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel, join my Discord. Thank you so much, channel members. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, see you later. Bye-bye.